The latest GOP debate concludes with the candidates wrestling a squealing pig to the ground and slaughtering it. Brendan Fraser signs on to star in a new pre-movie trivia question, and a snooze button is smacked like it delivers morphine. Welcome to the pandering afterthought that is this edition of The Onion Week in Review. According to a report published this week, researchers have definitively concluded that it, all of it, is some kind of sick joke. The Princeton study suggests that the entirety of existence, including time, marriage, migratory patterns of birds, continental drift, life itself, photosynthesis, human society, and the changing of the seasons, are all part of a massive twisted ruse orchestrated by a spiteful cosmos. Look at you morons taking this stupid video for your pointless newspaper. Everything's a joke. I'm a joke. You're a joke. The whole universe is a joke. We at The Onion Week in Review are compelled to inform viewers that while this entire segment is indeed one small part of the giant perverse joke, the upshot is that the next minute of your life will be no more or less pointless than if you were to spend it with a loved one, mentoring an at-risk youth, or simply wallowing in your own feculence. Police in Lehman, Michigan describe a local student's recently foiled plans to commit a deadly school shooting as, quote, embarrassingly bad. Authorities apprehended 17-year-old Trent Bayer Thursday after finding him in an empty hallway struggling to load a pathetically small caliber pistol while simultaneously attempting to unfold an inaccurate, crudely drawn map of the school. Lehman Police Chief Ethan Holman elaborated several ways Bayer's strategy could have been more effective, including setting off a homemade explosive in the teacher's lounge, executing popular students first, and at the very least, purchasing some military fatigues. You're not going to intimidate anyone by wearing a tucked-in button-down shirt uh, and uh, pleated trousers. Several bank executives are currently gambling on which Occupy Wall Street protester will be arrested next. This morning, members of the financial services firm The Whittinger Group gathered at the window of their 15th floor boardroom overlooking Manhattan's Zuccotti Park and tabulated odds on a large dry erase board to keep track of the growing pot of cash. I had 10 grand on that crazy bitch in the camel pants. They went for the bandana guy instead. Dumb fucking luck. As of this afternoon, more than $1.2 million had changed hands, with Vice Chairman Malcolm Grant taking in more than $300,000 in winnings for correctly betting on the arrest of a man in a Guy Fox mask. In this weekend's Onion magazine, our editors reveal 10 prayers that will really get God to stand up and take notice. In other news, Harley Davidson and Jack Daniels collaborate on a local felony. A churchgoer blanks on why she's lighting a votive candle, and President Obama is now attempting to pass each word of his jobs bill individually. Please ring the bell and the boy will come round momentarily for your bags. For more news, visit theonion.com newsbeat.